What's up you guys? We're back for another video. So today we're actually gonna be doing a crossover. So we're gonna be doing Culver's with Cane's. So we got the Cane's Texas Toast because I really love their toast. Their fries, their lemonade. And then from Culver's, I just got the burger. Kenzie got the burger. I got the sourdough melt. Um, what'd you get, Kenzie? Um, the bacon. Bacon butter bacon. burger or bacon deluxe burger, oh whatever it's called. Um, this is gonna be a late night mukbang. Um, it's going to be our last mukbang that we're doing before we leave Ohio tomorrow. Sad face. But I want to thank Kenzie because this was a really awesome trip. She surprised me with it as our like Valentine's Day gift, um, a getaway weekend. It's, it was really like a business weekend, I guess you could call it, because, I mean, we are pretty much recording videos, <laughs> knocking out these bangers for you guys. But yeah, so I just want to say thank you to my baby. You're welcome. All right, you guys, so without further ado, we're going to get it in. Um... We'll see if there's a lot of talking or not. I don't know. My last few videos, I have tried not to talk that much, but then when I watch them back, I'm actually talking a lot. So we'll see. This is a really good trip, you guys. I had a lot of fun. Mmm, this smells delicious. This is our first time ever trying this place. I didn't know about this place till Zaddy Chunk Chunk and B Love did it. I guess it's uh, originated in Wisconsin. It's a thick burger. It looks good, though. Mine, I'm a simple guy. I got two patties. I'm a simple guy. I got two patties, cheddar cheese, ketchup mustard, and I use a little hot sauce. Kenzie had bacon, mayo, onion, lettuce. That's what I was I was gonna get lettuce, but I felt pressured. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I know that feeling when you're in the drive-thru. Yeah. Mmm. Really fresh. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. That's that Wingstop ranch. You don't know? Yeah, he said he didn't want any want any of. And here he is dipping in my ranch. <laughs> but yeah, that's that Wingstop ranch. We had Wingstop the first day we were here. I'm pretty sure I already told y'all this, but we were gonna record a video. But by the time we got here, and after that long trip to get here, I just wasn't trying to wait. I wasn't trying to set up. I wasn't trying to do none of that. I was just trying to grub. So we'll do that in a future video or something. But hey, it is what it is, y'all. Mmm. 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 Mm. So, I got to tell you guys, when we were at Chuck E. Cheese's yesterday, when we were at Chuck E. Cheese yesterday, I was playing a basketball game while Kenzie and remember playing another game. So after the game was done, I naturally go to look for my tickets that I got or whatever, right? So as I'm going to reach down for the tickets, because... Apparently, I didn't know this. On the left side, there was my ticket thing, and on the right side was for the other machine. So a man and his girlfriend, wife, whatever she was, was was there. And as I'm reaching over to grab the ticket, literally, this is my hand. He goes like this and just touches my hand. So I just looked up at him, like, confused, like, why are you touching me? <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 no. He said, these are my tickets. Yours come out over there. And then, like, basically, he went into this story, and he was telling me that basically the Tickets weren't working that day or something like that on that specific machine. So no joke, this guy, he literally got like a whole stack, like the whole yeah. thing, like they, they filled the tickets up with, he got a whole stack of them. And then I've got a decent portion. I got like a hundred and something. And mind you, I was probably only supposed to win like maybe 50 tickets if right. that. And I got over a hundred off that one machine. So we kind of talked about that, but I just thought that was kind of funny and I forgot to tell you guys about that. But he was real cool about it. He wasn't rude or anything. He was just like, I would have done the same thing. Like, that's my ticket. You know, leave my tickets alone. I mm. I've never had hot sauce with a burger. Definitely recommend it. And this is Louisiana hot sauce. One of my favorite hot sauces. 
I think I actually like this better than I like French Red Hot. Really? Mm-hmm. All my onions just fell off my burger and I'm making a mess. This lemonade oh, no. is perfect. This Texas Toast, y'all. If you've never had Raising Cane's Texas Toast, you don't know what you're missing. I promise you, it's an experience in and of itself. Mm -hmm. It's not even like they do anything crazy to it, but it's just so... Mm -hmm. Little ranch. Mm hmm. Kenji trying to drill on me about using the ranch. But someone said they didn't want fries when we were at Kane's. I never said that. Mm. Mm hmm. I'm actually really sad, you guys, that this is the last day of the trip. It was such a good trip, you know. It always happens like that, though. The real good stuff always, like, flies by. Yeah. Our daughter's ready to go home, though. She's like, are we going home? Every time we would leave out the hotel room. Are we going home now? Every single day. She's very much like me, very much a homebody. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I couldn't even lie. This whole trip, we've been eating good. Every meal we ate was a mukbang. Even if Kenzie wasn't in it, it was a mukbang. Oh. Fine. Y'all, if y'all keep seeing this disappear, my daughter said she wasn't hungry when we got this food. And of course, once mommy and daddy are eating, it always looks better. All you parents out there know how that goes. She's young though, so it's okay. Mm. Mm. If we are just closer to us, I'll definitely eat this more. Yeah. It's the, it's the quality, you guys. Like, you can taste how fresh it is and, like, how fresh it tastes. Like, definitely well. And it wasn't even really badly priced. For both of our mm -hmm. burgers, we only paid 11 bucks. I mean, that's not a bad price to me. Some people might think that's right. a lot, but not badly priced to me. <clears throat> Mm. Have you ever ate hot sauce in your burger? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Yo, I didn't just like smash that burger into my mouth and like cut it out or anything. I gave it to my daughter because she's hungry. I mean, literally we've been eating all day, so like my stomach is really full. But like I said, I'm just trying to smash out these bangers before we leave. Excuse me. She being funny, y'all. <laughs> she know I don't eat mayonnaise. I don't eat onions either, but like if there's like just a few of them, I don't eat it, but. Yeah, Best believe. We don't finish these fries. We have an air fryer at home. Yeah, I reheat all my fries. And they taste just as good, though. I mean, if they didn't taste good, like, I'm not one of the people that can put my fries in the microwave and call it a day. Uh -uh. If it ain't crispy, it ain't for me. Mm-mm. We finished that. Okay. We got something to talk about. Huh? We got something to talk about. Oh, my gosh. This is a mess. You don't mind Let's talk about that. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this. Y'all, gonna sleep like a baby tonight. We have what? 
hand express left over to take home. And then we have all our Krispy Kreme donuts. Raisin canes. Oh yeah, and then we have uh, we bought the tailgate combo of raisin canes, so we got mad chicken fingers. So we're gonna take that home. These fries, the toast. Yeah. Man, we'll be eating good the next couple of days. The wing stop, that was the first meal we had, so we crushed that. We were super hungry. Literally, we didn't eat the day before. Like, we ate at maybe, what, two or something like that in the afternoon? Three? On the way down here? No, the day before. No, 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 it was like five, because remember you went to the movies? Oh, yeah. The day before we came down, I had Chipotle, so I ate that at like 5.30 Friday, because we came here on Saturday. Oh, yeah. yeah. So literally, I hadn't ate until we didn't get here. We checked in at 2.30. Well, we got in, we checked in at 2.30, got <coughs> to the room at like 2.45. And then as soon as we got in here, actually, even before then, when Kenzie went in to check in, um, I, me and Ren, we were eating in the car because, like, that's how hungry I was. And I literally said that I wanted to do a video on it, but it just didn't make it. It didn't. And we had a lot of food. That corn, y'all, that Cajun fried corn. I would do a video on just that itself. That's how good that corn was. That corn was mm -hmm. banging. Even Kenzie liked it. But you like corn anyways though, right? Let's do that. Mmm. Mmm. It's just so good, y'all. Definitely recommend out of all the meals you ate, which one were your favorite? I don't know. This burger's good, but then the toast is good, and the lemonade's good, so... How would you rank them if you had to? Oh, come on, don't do that. Yeah. Like, first, second, third? <laughs> first, second, third, fourth? We have four different oh, yeah. meals. Okay, so Panda Express is fourth. Mm -hmm. Um... What was the third one? Oh, Wingstop. Wingstop, Raisin Cane, Culver. And then Culver second, and then Raisin Cane's first. What do you think? Um, um, damn, that is hard. See? See, because I really, really, really like that Panda Express, the Beijing beef, and that Sweet Fire chicken breast. Like, that's just something that you really can't get besides there. I mean, you can buy the sauces and make it at home, but it's just not the same, you know? Um, Raising canes, the only thing that they really had that I liked the most was the toast. Yeah. Like, the fries I can get anywhere. The chicken, I mean, it's good, but it's not, like, to die for. Like, how I would crave Panda Express, how I do Raisin canes. But Culver, this is good, so... um it's hard because it's like all different categories. You see? That's why I just guessed. I think I'm going to rank my number one as Panda Express, Culver's, Wingstop, and then Cane's. Really? Yeah. Because technically the only thing I really like from Cane's is the toast. Like, the chicken wasn't like immaculate to the point where like I'm going to like crave it day and night. But... That Panda Express, like I crave that sweet fire chicken breast and that Beijing beef. I literally crave it. And then Wingstop was good, but the women that made it, um, not that there's anything wrong with women cooking, obviously, but the women that made it, when we called, we literally said extra, 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 extra crispy on the wings, and we got them, and they were... No, I mean, there were, they were like, the the ones that had dry rubs, so, like, the garlic parmesan ones that we had, they were kind of crispy, but yeah, they're still not as crispy as I make them at home. Like, when I make my wings, like, they're real crispy. And the, yeah, he has just, to make me a separate batch, because... Yeah. I just, I, I don't know. If they would have fried them the way I wanted to, I definitely think that they would have been up there more. But, like, their flavors are on point yeah, at mango Wingstop. mango your own one? Their garlic parm was really good too. Yeah, like surprisingly, a lot of people can't get a garlic parm right. Yeah. Like Buffalo Wild Wings, I don't like their garlic parm because it has like an Italian base, like Italian dressing base, and I'm not too much a fan of yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. I had to go get 
get some more lemonade before I leave. That's good. Speaking of which. I was gonna buy a gallon of the lemonade because I know it. I I went to LSU for one semester when I first got out of high school, and it was just so expensive that like I literally couldn't afford to go again. But I had Raisin Cane, which is like why we tried this place. But for a gallon of lemonade, they wanted eight ninety nine. Yeah, now I get that it's fresh made and everything, but eight ninety nine. I can make my own lemonade just as good. Like, I really can. Right. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm full. I'm going to eat this last piece of bread off camera, but I'm going to sign out here. So, until next time, you guys, uh, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Because my next subscriber could be on your social media. Until next time, you guys. Peace.